All right, so um, just at home today, chilling with little one. And um, it's an hour to go until the new neural DSP. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I thought I'd um, give you some updates and some like reactions to what I think when it, when it comes out. Um, there's a lot of thoughts and stuff going on um, on the neural page and stuff. Um, my main guess was uh, Misha, an archetype Misha. Um, which I think would be really cool. Um, JST has stopped selling the uh, Tone Forge Misha Mansour, as well as there being three dots on the picture, so I was kind of like, Ooh, is that Misha? Um, but then I've seen pictures of um, three dots like that on um, Ingolamps and on Fortin and uh, Diesel as well. Um, and it's interesting as well because there's been reactions from Fortin saying like, oh yeah, it's going to be awesome, fire, all that sort of stuff. And then there's like, a, oh, this is absolutely amazing from uh, Dark Glass. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, it, you know, Dark Glass and Fortin have worked a lot with um, Neural in the past, so it might just be them giving the seal of approval rather than implying any kind of uh, involvement. So who knows? But um, yeah exciting stuff it's the, the picture from the three days has looked quite similar between them so it feels more like it's a simulation of an amp specifically rather than an archetype um it seems like neural kind of alternate as well between archetypes and um amps because this year we had gojira and then we had soldano and then we had tim henson um and following that pattern we're then gonna have an amp uh, drop today rather than an archetype but it's all speculation and guessing at the moment we'll see what happens when it drops at two o'clock all right here we go so i'm just opening up the youtube app the video is about to go live um here we go Derelict looking at Oh, it's John Petrucci! Oh! Oh, yes! Okay, I'm not a DreamWorks fan, but I, am a Petru I do love Petrucci. Oh, this is cool. I am all about this, yep. Oh dear. Okay, so the reason I'm saying oh dear is because I was planning to, whatever came out, do a cover. So now I've got to do a Dream Theater cover. It's gonna be hard. Well, that's different. Parametric EQ instead of graphics EQ. Oh, pitch shift. <laughs> yeah, Petrucci one has to have a metronome. Petrucci is the metronome, surely. Doubler, yeah, makes sense. Oh man. Oh, cool. Well, Funny pedal. And a new font. I've not seen Neural use that font before, so. All right, I'm excited. We're, um, I'm gonna download the demo and 
we'll have a, we'll have a play and see how it sounds. All right, so I've downloaded the demo. Got webcam on. Got another camera on here as well. Just going to literally open up the plugin and uh, show you my first thoughts. I've never, haven't opened this plugin before, so it's going to be interesting. And let me just move this over to here. So I've got an excessive amount of guitar tone plugins here. All right, so this is what we see. We've got. Uh, I haven't watched any demo videos or anything on this, so I have no idea. So I'm just going to literally go through and see what we've got. It looks like there's four amps at the bottom. We've got a kind of wood effect one, which sounds like this. Then we've got the next one, which is, oh, that's nice. Black and purple. We've got the HAL 9000 model. And this white one here. Right, so I'm just going to tune up before we do anything else. Okay, so this looks a little bit different to some of the other neural plugins. We've got Doubler up here, we've also got Transpose. So those sound really cool, we'll check those out in a second. And we've got quite a few different pedals by looks of things. We have, I think that's a volume pedal? No, that's not, that's, maybe that's, that's probably a wah pedal. Yeah, that's a wah pedal. We've also, and there's also a compressor. Um, overdrive, phaser, chorus, flanger. There's the four amps which we've looked at. There's quite a few different cabinet options. So it looks like the cabinets are tied to the amp, uh, unlike Gojira where you can mix and match. Um, there's an EQ which is parametric rather than graphics. There's a volume pedal. And we've got chorus delay and reverb, which is which are post effects. So I'm going to turn. Ah, here we go. It's just on off switches. Um, yeah, so this looks really cool. So let's just go through the different the different amps first. There's a air switch. That makes it sound like an acoustic. So I'm guessing that's an acoustic amp with kind of this air. I imagine it makes the piezo pickup sound more like a real acoustic, so that's cool. This one... It's a clean amp. The bright switch. That sounds very nice. I reckon that's going to be amazing with the chorus and the delay effects on there. Then we've got, this is the what I call the HAL 9000, which has a bite switch. Sounds pretty great. Let's check out what this tight switch, this tight knob does. Almost like a precision drive kind of thing going on there. Mid boost. Yeah. 
wow, the tie on four and the mid on boost on, that's very <clears throat> genty. And then this one here, I'm guessing this is going to be the lead. sounds great as well so um eq that's gonna be pretty straightforward um looks like you choose your boost or cuts on these bottom knobs and choose what frequency on the top knobs so that's pretty straightforward volume um i haven't got an expression pedal connected up right now so we can't really do that but let's just try out so let's go back to the clean this one and we'll try I'm going to put it on the neck pickup. Here's my neck pickup. Um, I'm just going to put the bright, put some treble and some presence on there, and I'm going to try out these effects here. Chorus. Oh. sounds absolutely amazing. Um, vintage. Spatial. Well, there's almost kind of a saturation thing going on there. Alright, well we weren't here for clean tones, we're here for other stuff. idea what that's doing but that sounds really cool it's kind of a, re a little bit of a reverse thing happening there i'm going to turn that down or we'll try the tape up yep i like that nice bit of distortion some wobbliness on the modulation. Let's just turn all these up and sound what, see what that sounds like. That sounds pretty 80s. <laughs> this is a reverb sound. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so then the other things I'm really interested in, let's go back over to the kind of more distortion. And the bridge pickup. And pull the scale. I want to check out this transpose. So let's play um, just an open E. Try the bottom B. Right, let's try some chords. That is monstrous. Right, 
So you've got some kind of crazy chords. So see how that sounds if I take that down. Four semitones. <laughs> That is mental. All right, so those sound really horrible, but the point is um, they sound correct. They're tracking correctly. The whole chord, like these are kind of uh, dissonant sounding chords ordinarily. Like. All right, so let's try that on the clean amp. Okay, when you go up, it does sound a little bit glitchy, um, but down, it sounds pretty impressive. Try that on the acoustic as well with that air switch on. That is min oh, I can't even I can't even put into words how good that is. That's absolutely absolutely bonkers. So let's have a look at some of the presets. There's a few artists on here. We've got the normal, usual suspects, including um, Nolly and Corey Wong, Jack Gardner. We've got some other ones who I don't recognise as very often from the neural um, presets, including Andy Sneep, which is awesome. Uh, we'll check those out in a second. But he um, produced the latest Dream Theatre album, so not that much of a surprise that he's here. Um, we've also got Rabir. Rabir knows what's up. Also Tim Henson as well. So let's check out some of these um, tones. We've also got here some John Petrucci tones as well. Looks like we've got some specific tones for specific songs, which is very cool. Um, As I Am is the first song I'd ever heard by uh, Dream Theater, so that's quite cool that that's there as well. And there's a ton here in the factory as well. So let's just go through some of these. Um, I'm gonna start off with the Nolly ones, because, because Nolly. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. I like what's happening there with the ambience and the reverb and stuff. That's really nice. Gargoyle. I don't know any Dream Theatre riffs off the top of my head, so I apologise for not playing Dream Theatre riffs. This tone will self whoa. This tone will self-destruct momentarily. You can go and get a bite, you know, and come back, and that will still be sustaining. 
I'm just going to check out a couple more of these. Um, Kiko Lurere. Glitching out a little bit there. I think it might be the low bu size buffer I've got. So there's a doubler on this one. Um, it's supposed to make it sound like two guitars, I guess. And then the, the spread is the amount of time. Um, it kind of sounds... I guess this is really cool for, uh, and makes sense for a Petrucci. Um, plug-in because he's the only guitarist in Dream Theater, so it makes sense to have a doubler which makes it sound like two guitarists, even though there's only one playing, so. That was very poorly played. So, fake seven, so it's minus five on there, so it's supposed to sound, make a six string sound like a seven string. Obviously on a 7 string makes it sound like an 8. That is very convincing. <laughs> so what I'm going to try is I'm going to grab my acoustic and plug um, directly from the piezo out into uh, the plug-in so we can see how... Because I hate the sound of, of the built-in uh, saddle pickups on an acoustic, so I want to see if that actually fixes that. Alright, so that's just the normal standard um, setting on there. If we put on the air, how does that sound? hard for me to say right now because I'm hearing the actual acoustic um, bleeding through so um, I'll have to let you judge how that sounded um, don't judge my playing so what I'm gonna do now is very quickly run through the pedals so let's put it on this kind of rhythm kind of sound um, and let's just check out what these are so we've got I'm going to turn the gain down just a tiny bit, a lot. And um, we shall go through the pedals very quickly. Thank you. 
Okay, something that's really impressed me with the transpose is generally when you use a pitch effect and pitch down, like down to an octave, for example, um, you lose a lot of the gain and it sounds like a lot lower gain. But with this, it seems to be retain it. So. Okay, you go lose a little bit when it goes down to an octave. But yeah, that's pretty impressive. Um, so phaser before the distortion. sound kind of warish. Speaking of which, we'll, I haven't checked out the wire, we'll do that in a second. So chorus before the distortion. All right, so those sound how they should. Um, it's just, I can't really, I haven't got an, again, I haven't got an expression pedal plugged in, so. Well, sounds convincing, so. <laughs> Let's try this compression as well. Yeah, that's clamping down on those chugs quite significantly. Um, and then lastly, uh, we've got volume. Um, Again, you can control it with the expression pedal, I'm sure. And that pretty much wraps it up by the looks of things. We've got on the microphones, we have uh, no 57. That's really unusual. But um, we've got a few other options. We've got the option to pan it left and right as well. And then there's room mics as well. So let's hear what that sounds like. So. Sound, sounds like a room. So, uh, overall, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Um, as I said before, I'm not particularly a dream theatre fan. Um, I kind of like... I, I, I'm kind of a fan of John Petrucci in as much as I'll, he's got some great riffs. Um, he's always always has some great tones using his Mesa Mark amps. And... Um, I did used to watch his Rock Discipline DVDs and learn a lot through that. So I was definitely intrigued by this plugin being dropped today and it wasn't what I expected at all. I don't think looking through the comments on the Neuro DSP um, post, I didn't don't remember seeing anyone suggesting Petrucci. There was lots of different thoughts. Like I said earlier, uh, Misha was my guess from the three dots on the amps. Um, there's a few guesses for others like James Hetfield and Aaron Marshall from Intervals and, and a few others. Um, so the, yeah, this one comes a bit of a surprise. And one thing I would want to say as well is that the design on this is really nice. Look how gorgeous these amps look. It's really, really nice. I'm not sure what this all thing in the middle is all about and probably a Dream Theatre fan would probably say oh that's Thing how do you not know about Thing um, yeah so I'm going to be playing with this more I might do a cheeky Dream Theatre cover with it um, if I can 
pluck up the courage to do so. And uh, see you soon. Thank you very much. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and hit the subscribe button.